Welcome to Candy's Homestead. I'm Donna. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful day out here today. I am going to take advantage of the beautiful weather that we're having. A couple of nights ago, we were 29 degrees. Today, right now, I just checked before I came on here, we are 73 degrees today and the sun is shining. And what is today? Today is December 3rd and I'm cutting pumpkin. This is pumpkin left over from Thanksgiving and uh, between the Halloween and Thanksgiving timeline. And I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to give it to my animals because they love pumpkins. It's going to help them with all kinds of things. And uh, it's just unbelievable that it's so pretty out here today. After 29 degrees, I think it was two nights ago, we were 29 degrees. It's kind of breezy, but anyways... So I'm going to get this pumpkin cut up and give it to the chickens. I don't know if my goats will eat pumpkin or not. I've never tried, but I'm going to try and see what they think. I'm going to go around and do a few things out here today. Um, just trying to take advantage of the good weather. I've got some work to do in the greenhouse. I've got lots of cleanup in the gardens. I've done just a little here and a little there. but. I'm going to see what I can get done today. I'm gonna save me some pumpkin seeds too. Y'all, it is super, super hot out here. I'm sweating so bad. I'm sweating around the eyes, on the forehead. I'm sweating in my clothes. 70 something degrees. That, it was 73 about an hour ago. I'm sure it's warmer than that. So, pardon my sweat. But I wanna show y'all something. This is a product that I do have in my Amazon affiliate links to sell But the reason I want to show you is not really to push a product for sale But I do want to push the product for you Because I don't want you to miss out on something that is really good for the garden. I love them. I Have used them. Oh, I don't know how many years many years more than five, I'm sure. And that is those PVC clamps. Now, I see a lot of people online who have the hoops to protect their plants, whether it's in the summer for um, against sun or to protect in the winter against frost. There's different um, covers that you can put on them. I use mine in both winter and summer. I put sunshades uh, shade cloth for the summer and then when I have something planted under them in the winter I keep them covered as well and the covering also protects not just from the temperatures but like in the summer and the fall against the caterpillars the butterflies that lay the eggs and all of that what I see so many people using is just a hoop and then they've got their fabric draped over and it's draped on the ground and they have bricks or some kind of heavy object, you know, laying on it to keep the wind from blowing it off. And that is fine. If that is the way you want to work it, there's no reason not to continue doing so. I personally don't like that because the edges get covered in mud and debris and collect a lot of leaves and just you know I personally don't like all my material laying on the ground so I stopped doing that years ago still sweating I stopped doing that years ago and I made 
the hoops in my raised bed uh, in a few of them. I didn't do it in all of them. Right now, in, in this particular bed, I don't have anything planted, so I can't really show uh, vegetables in there, and I can't show the fabric over the top. But what I can do is show you the structure and show you those clamps that I have in use. I leave them out all year long. They're in the winter. They've been out in the snow. They're in the summer. And they still perform great. But in case you didn't know about them and you're looking for an alternative to draping that fabric on the ground, this is a great solution, Chomp. So I'm going to show you what I use. And it's just it's some PVC clamps that you can clamp over the pipe and over the material and it keeps the material nice and tight and neat. It's tidy, it looks good, and it performs well. Let's go take a look. This is my hoop setup. I have three hoops that I've hooped in over the top of rebar. Rebar is in each corner. And then the PVC pipe, it's half inch PVC, just fits right over the top. And I've got some pipe clamps holding them in place down in the box. I built me a structure across the top using T's. And <clears throat> the T is connected to the center, well, to each one. This T is connected to this. What I do is I put the cloth, whatever fabric, whether it's the sunshade in the summer or the cloth to protect the plants in the winter, I drape it over the top and I cut it big enough that it goes over the sides as well. And then that bar at the top, which I've just got it stored there, it slides down and I clamp the material on the bottom of the bar at the bottom of the box when i want to raise it that bar which is down here at the bottom it just slides up and goes in place and these clamps let me show you these clamps These are the PVC clamps. They just snap on and snap off. Sometimes they get a little tight, which is great because that means they stay put. I may have to pry it up with something, but most of the time they just snap up by pulling with your hand. But everywhere you want that cloth to stay put, you just use this and you snap it onto the pipe. When I raise it up in the summer, if it's really hot and I want airflow, then I'll raise it up and I will snap these pieces at the top to hold it and the material is just raised up. I can raise it from either side depending on the direction the sun is beaming down on my plants and it protects them. And the material um, is woven in a fashion that it does rain, you know, the rainwater <clears throat> The rainwater does go through the material, so it doesn't matter if it's open or closed as far as rain. But these pipes have been in this position right here for at least five years. Right now, I don't have anything growing in the box except some dill that has uh, folded over from the 29 degree temperature we had a few nights ago. And... Um, so I don't need to put any cloth on it. But this is, I, I love these things. I mean, I buy them by the packages. They're not expensive. You get a lot in a package. And <clears throat> I mean, they hold up. They do not break or um, split easily. Not from the weather. I have dropped them on the ground and stepped on them and broke them. But, you know, that doesn't, doesn't mean they're not a good product. But I love these things, and that way I can raise it up and down 
without having to peel back material, undo the rocks or the bricks or whatever, and it stays intact. And it looks really good. It's nice and neat. I really don't like using the, the method on the ground. I have tried that, but it didn't work well for me. And this method works great. But anyways, I wanted to show these um, clamps because I don't want you to miss out on something good that could be helpful in your garden and could um, help keep your structures sturdy. It snaps on that easy. Like I said, I keep it in the up position. It gives it more um, sturdiness up top when I don't have anything on it. And normally I actually have two uh, pipes. One is a permanent pipe, one long stretch. But I had to, I needed some pipe and so I borrowed my pipe from off of there. I will be putting one more straight piece across the top there. And that holds it nice and rigid when I have the other uh, pipe rolled down and material attached to it. Anyways, I just wanted to show that to y'all in case you weren't aware of those clamps and you don't like the current situation that you're using. Y'all look at these oranges. They are almost ready. They're looking good. I'm kind of getting really excited even though I have oranges every year, but for some reason this year excites me more. The lemons are looking good too. They're getting pretty big. Y'all, we have gotten up to 78 degrees today. And I mean, it's hot. And there's a lot of overcast. And boy, is it humid and, and muggy. I wanted to touch on a couple of other things that, that I feel like if anybody is out there um, that has not already been into gardening for a long time, I want to show you a few things that I feel like would be helpful that you could start collecting little by little to use for gardening. Um, all the supplies that you ultimately need and will use from year to year to year is something that you need to collect. It's not something that is um, affordable to just go out and buy in bulk for most people. But over time, when you see these things, I would highly advise you to collect as much as you can per whatever the budget allows and I promise you they will come in handy. The first thing that I would advise is collect as many T-posts as you can because you will use T-posts throughout your garden for different styles of trellising or uh, holding up fencing to fence around your garden. Different sizes, um, like height, I would say five, six, and seven footers are really handy. This is something that I keep. In fact, I've had mine so long. Look how rusty they're getting. I have T-posts all over my yard and my garden. In fact, sometimes it looks like I'm growing T-posts and cattle panels. Cattle panels is a given. Uh, here's another thing 
collect you some regular bricks, cinder blocks of different styles. You will use them, I promise. Cattle panels, as I was about to say, is a given. Everybody likes to use cattle panels these days to make trellises, and they are not cheap. So collect those a few at a time as the budget allows. Put them aside because you will use cattle panels all over the place. Another thing is zip ties. I collect zip ties of all sizes and colors. Put those where they don't fall. They will be handy all over your garden. Holding your uh, T-post to your cattle panels. That is a lot easier than trying to tie them up. But I buy zip ties Every time I'm in the store and I see a pack that is on sale, good price, or, you know, I have visited hardware stores that I'd never been to before, and if I see a large bundle of them, I grab them, I collect them, and I, in my opinion, I can't have too many zip ties. And I lay zip ties all over the garden, just like this right here. They're laying on tables, they're laying, I put them at the, um ends of the garden beds because I like to have zip ties um, handy to just reach and grab when I need one so if you were to walk throughout my gardens you will find zip ties laying everywhere not because they've been carelessly tossed around and left laying it's because I have strategically placed them throughout my garden so that if I'm, you know, suddenly find myself in one place trying to fix something, I need zip ties um, at the ready. And a lot of times, these things, they will pop. Um, they will, you know, break. And you'll come through your garden and find that a cattle panel is loose. And you need them real quick. So, my advice is to collect those items. Another thing that I would like to add to that list of things that I think that every gardener should collect and keep on hand is lots of bungee cords, bungee straps, bungee cords, whatever, you know, you want to call them. They come in very handy as well. And that's whether you're just gardening or you're gardening, homesteading, you have animals, chicken coops, uh, goat yards, pig yards, whatever. Bungee straps come in handy around the homestead in general i buy those in bulk as well and i keep them hanging all over the place there's a handful always at my chicken coop i keep some in the goat yard i keep them hanging in the garden although i don't see any right now but i gener generally do keep them hanging because they're they're just handy well yeah here's one right here <laughs> i've got i've got bungee straps holding my um sunshade to the cattle panel I knew I had some out here anyways that's another item that would be useful to keep a lot on hand here are a couple of other items to keep on hand that I find very very useful in my garden and that's these little short rakes there's a hard rake and a regular soft rake they're not very tall. They're maybe three feet. They're very handy when you have raised beds or um, whether they're high like mine or low, but they make it easy to reach across the bed and grab stuff and to rake. Instead of having to keep the long handled rakes, they are very, very useful to have on hand. I keep several sets. I've got a set I keep at my chicken yard, and I've got a set that I keep here in the garden. And, I mean, just, you know, they're lightweight and they're short. They're just so convenient to use. I'm not going to use them, of course, to rake my yard with, but to rake uh, across garden beds or even garden rows fabulous little items you can find them in the dollar store they're inexpensive 
and um, they don't last forever. They will uh, eventually, if you if you leave them out like I do, they don't last forever, but mine are several years old. However, you could put them up and make them last for a long time. My, oh, This is my newer set. My older set that's in the chicken yard, I've actually spray painted those when the handles would start to peel and that does prolong the life of them. I want y'all to see what I just found in my garden. Today is December 3rd. We've had at least a week's worth of freezing temperatures, although today is very, very warm. We're high 70s, like 78 today. But I was cleaning out one of my garden beds, obviously a potato bed. Look what I found. Potatoes. Red potatoes. There's a handful of small ones in here, and I found some small sweet potatoes. They're nothing big and fancy for sure, but I think with what I've got here, I can clean them up and make a small casserole out of them. There's a couple of really nice sized potatoes in here. Most of them are small. This is a really nice size one. The plant itself was, you know, mush. Fell over, turned to mush. It was so slimy, I, I couldn't hardly get it out with my hands. And I started digging under, just checking for um, weeds and roots and stuff, stuff. And this is what I got. <laughs> Gardening is fun when you come up with surprises that you don't expect. I think that's all I have for this particular video. Um, I might get rained on, so I think I'm going to go inside. I really just wanted to share a few garden tips and share those PVC clamps as well. And I'm going to call it a day. I hope that the few tips that I'm leaving you with today are um, helpful. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you will come aboard and follow the channel by subscribing. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.